and welcome back to GE Retro World. And what we have here is a Serio 3 element Yagi. These tune from 26500 to 30 MHz. I actually bought this in February, believe it or not, and obviously today, which is, have a little look, the 13th of May, can you believe it? I'm finally putting something up. I want to go th through the setup procedure, maybe it's the uh, putting it together as well. So we'll have a little look here, guys. Uh, this was from Radio Well as well, by the way. I've dealt with them a couple of times over the years, not as much as Moon Radio. It's both excellent companies. Excuse me, I'm just having a drink with my hot chocolate. It's actually 26 degrees in here, I'm drinking hot chocolate. But it is very nice, all the same. Yeah, so let's get this open. Right, okay. These are all actually fed in, they look ready to go. That's the gamut. Right, all oh, that can go back in there for now. I'll just get a bit of tidy up there. Instructions there, look. Nothing to it, really. These are all the mountain pass and brackets and whatnot. Sleeves. Yeah these, are all, yeah, these are all sleeves for the, the elements, obviously, they're going between here, you know, a doubt. Yeah, definitely. But uh, actually, it doesn't look too bad. Have a look at the quality of this. Uh, that's cast alloy, that. Can you see that, guys? That's actually really nice. Yeah, it's, it's actually nicely finished, that, you know. These are a lot better than they used to be, aren't they? Bloody hell, damn sight better. I think there's something like 130 pound or probably there somewhere near enough in dollars as well but yeah the bone looks good right guys I suppose we're gonna have to set this about side we'll do first I'll go through what you need you need a tape rule so it claims which is a tape measure that's if you're going to be cutting it down we're in Italian we need a tape rules or a meter a hacksaw again if you're cutting it down a screwdriver which the they're quoting as a cross point, which is a Phillips. A 10 millimeter open key, which is a 10 mm open end spanner. A 13 millimeter open key, again, a 13 mil open ended spanner. Open key, yeah, I like that one. Right guys, we're gonna start putting the elements together. It's pretty straightforward to be honest. Uh, there's three sections for each element. The larger of the two sleeves goes over the first bigger section of the element. Oh, do you've got that in there? That was a bit of a wrong way around, wasn't it? Now, and that goes in here. So there we go. See those holes line up pretty decent. <laughs> Mix a changer. That sleeve's a bit uh, of a floppy thing, like, but it's it should serve a purpose within reason. Get the other one in. These are just self tappers. I mean, years ago we used to have uh, Jubilee clips, but it's going to be alright. So there's the element of the first two parts of the element, anyway. Right, next is this little, little fella on the end. And you get these little caps as well, little rubber caps, so we'll shove that over the end now, and that's out the bloody way, I suppose. So, last section in. You get one self tapper in there to get a start on this daft thing here. So there's that in there. Nice day today, like guys. Jesus, it was absolutely crap this morning. I went for a three mile run, so just over, and it wasn't the nicest of runs at all. It was a bit, no, it was a nice, I enjoyed the run, but it was just a bit cold. But now it's, oh Christ, it's unbelievable. Anyway, there's the 
one of the elements done. Like I say, it doesn't take long. If you want to look at these sleeves, that's the, the larger sleeve. Quite decent quality, there's no noise or rattle there, I don't like that. And that's the second one, the smallest one. Um, so that's one of them done. And what we'll do, we'll push on and get the other five done and we'll continue on to the boom. Right guys, that's all. <coughs> Six elements done. As you can see, you've got your reflector, your driven and your director. All different lengths. Um, so they're all done anyway. Feel half decent quality. Um, yeah, that's good. So what we're going to do next? We're going to put the grub screws. See these little grub screws here? They're a bloody nuisance. Now those are actually all what all the um, the elements in. When I was rolling out the packet, one of them bounced on the floor, and it took me about five ten minutes to find the bloody thing. Anyway, I found it. So what I would recommend doing before you actually put this together: get these grub screws. It comes with a little uh, Allen key, like it's not the best thing, but it'll get you away. Just basically insert them and just, just drive them in before you even do any of this. It just saves it. I just find it easy just to make sure that those are in and out the way so you're not going to lose the bloody things. Probably a little finger in there and just, just so you can feel it and just back it off a little bit so they don't fall out. Just a little tip, really. So you have to go and throw the same shit I had to. I mean, they don't give you any spares. You shouldn't need any spares, like, if you're not that clumsy. It's not like me, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you just, just throw them in. I've done the other ends, anyway. They're in. And that's it, then. Go straight in, no problem at all, then. Right, next job is basically to get the driven element and slide this over the, for, the, for the tuning element which is basically the gamma match and again we've got the same issue here with those little grubs can you see look we've got one on that end that holds it onto the driven element and that holds it onto the actual the gamma match um, so we'll get these out here watch these bounce right in front of the camera no they haven't right so we'll get them again and shove that straight into there so as you can see I don't think you see me wearing slides and socks today it's bad Look really, hasn't it? It's not the best look, is it? So they're safe now. Everything is safe. There's nothing going to bounce about. As you can see, this is all stainless steel hardware, by the way, by the looks of it. And obviously that's cast uh, aluminium. But the quality's good. Seems good anyway. So next is the driven element. Right. So we don't have any more losses which we haven't apart from that one earlier on I want to slip these over here normally what you do you put the washer on first then this gamma match then that then a spring washer but what we're going to do just make sure we don't lose anything we're just going to put them in an order and we'll get that later so we don't lose anything I just grab that little pot and all there just to shove these in so we don't end up losing anything. Anyway, that's the next step is to pop these in. That's going to be laborious, isn't it? So, one washer, one spring washer, one nut. Washer, spring washer, nut, small nuts by the way. And again you go along all the way with these. So I'm hoping this, if I put this together like this, I'm hoping to slide the boom apart, shove that in there and push it through. Just in case I ever want to use this mobile. I just want to test the idea or the theory. The next job after this guys, I need to build an um, end vent vertical. Something I've been working on, I'll try to work out anyway. Um, something that'll fold away small enough. I know spider been doing one, but small enough to carry on a bike, uh, on a gravel bike. And, uh, like I say, the spider being one, I think it falls down to something like uh, just under a metre, 0.7, something like that. So, so 
Let's see if this theory works eh? I'll just move that element out of the way. So I'll just pull that out of there. Hope that should slide over. And there we go, simple as peas, or as easy as peas as we used to say. And we'll slide it through there, straight into that. Have a look. There we go. Yeah, a bit up there, that. That's it. As you can see. We just shove that other bolt in there. I can't find that one up enough there. Hey, that's actually quite decent now. That's really easy to pull apart if you need to. And those just nip up with a 10mm spanner or socket or whatever. As you can see there guys, look. I can still pull in and out. So, that's that. Next job is to put these bad boys in. We have two of these. And a lot more bolts than we need as well. Not that I'm complaining. we'd be doubling them up well there you go so what I'm going to do now I want to nip this up get it somewhere centered and I want to put it on this uh, makeshift uh, tripod right guys it's time to fit this gamma match to the antenna as you can see it just slides in and out to get the SWR somewhere near you I'm going to the nuts that put on there for safety I don't want to lose Pop that in there like so. There's a washer already on there. Another washer on that side. And a spring washer on there, as you see. And that goes enough. Right, so that's on there. Pull that cut off the end and we'll slide you over there. And we'll feed you in there. Pump that bare bung end back on the end of there. That's somewhere near that. And that's about it really for that and you know what I mean, just want to nip them up. So we'll get that somewhere level. On the top of there. Just did that just a fraction there a minute. Oh, that was just, just so we can get somewhere, somewhere near. Um, just a slight nip up, nothing. Right guys, so there's the the gamma matching and uh, one of the first driven elements. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put all the elements on, the driven elements, the reflector and the director. And I suppose I better put a feed at the wit and see if we can get the get it matched down somewhere near you. That's your me good old neighbour. You can hear you there guys. You'll be able to hear him around the world. There you go, see? You'll be able to hear you around the world. <laughs> anyway guys, um, I'm sure you're around it. It's actually up to be honest. It's all complete. You just want to feed it to it and um, nipping up in here and there. These grubs. They won't nip up, but I'm just going to make sure all the measurements are correct first before I do anything else. But uh, yeah, it all looks good. Looks well. Looks fine by my standards, like. It's almost beaming west now anyway. It's just off kilter of west. Not far off it. So guys, we'll, uh, we'll get a bit more done. We'll pop back in a second. Right guys, it's uh, time to cut this down a bit. Um, I've tried it. And it's um, full length 
and it reckons it's resonant around about 26500 I'm going to drop it to 27500 hopefully around about that frequency I might be able to tune 10 meters up as well I mean to be honest 10 meters was tuning but I just don't know you know I don't like using tuners that much anyway so if we get it closer it will be better it was one to one around about 27 100 for some weird reason it should be back on 26 500 no chance anyway we'll uh we'll cut these down a little bit as you can see the differ on lens whether it's reflector your driven element or your director it's not rocket science i mean i could push them in i suppose but there's no point this will probably end up getting relegated to 10 meters anyway eventually so I'll probably end up cutting it right down it's just for now while conditions are a bit crazy on 11 meters i just thought i'd um I'd, I'd tune it for 27500 and go from there right i've just cut the reflector down as you can see there's a there's exactly 105 mil to cut off the end of this um because i've got it actually back in where it needs to be just saves you having to mess about uh, pulling them out and measuring them um their overall length is 2837 millimeter or obviously you just cut 105 mil off which is bang on 27500 so that's the reflector done anyway. We're going to the driven and the director. It just saves you having to mess about, pulling them in and out, you know what I mean? Just well, there's the driven element cut down. Uh, 27,500. So overall length of that driven element, each one is 2,570 millimeters, or you just basically need to cut off 95 mil off the end, which will give you the exact same measurement, to save you having to mess about. And uh, that, like I say, that give you 27,500. Anyway, on the director, and we'll go from there. Hey right, guys, we've got uh, on the director, we have our overall cut length of 25, 10 millimeter. So that's 2,510 millimeter for each element on the director, or cut around about 93 millimeter off each element. And that should get you somewhere near, guys. So we'll get this together now, see how she performs. Well there it's up there guys, it's uh, about 20 foot just over. I'm just going to try it on a couple of locals to see how it performs. And I'll just uh, bang it west for now until I get the rotator sorted out for it. But uh, yeah, it seems to be pretty straightforward to put up. Not very heavy either really, these three elements are yours. So I did it by myself, no problem at all whatsoever. I suppose if you wanted to be on the safe side, I'd probably stick with the uh, a couple of years life but um it's not even not heavy it's, it balances quite well i've only put it up as a, a, a bit of a temp at the moment until i get sorted out with the rotator so the quacks is it's ta it's 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 taped at the top like with a little bit of a, a loop in there but there's nothing it's not very tidy at all but it'll do for now it'll get us there we'll give it a go so guys that's about the size of it to be honest when I say the size of it, that, you know, it, they're not even that bad when they're up in the air. They're terrible when they're down, they're bloody awful, but uh, when they're up, they're not too bad. They don't look too bad at all. Do you know, there's a plane above me there, look. A bit of light aircraft. I don't be struggling there a bit. Anyway, guys, it's about nothing it really. I've been faffing about with this with concrete and faffing about for the past two or three weeks. So that'll be laid to rest and sorted shortly and that'll do. And I'll use that between 11 and 10 metres. Um, so I've lopped a bit off here and there. Um, like I say, all the the dims I'll put in the in the description. And it makes it a lot easier to save out the faff about with their daft cutting measurements doing each one like that. At least you get the whole length of the, the element. Uh, I know some people don't like cutting them, but do you mean they're not expensive are they? Anyway guys, a thumbs up wouldn't go miss. And a like and a subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it'll be a lot better place by then, but that's where it's staying anyway. It seems happy enough up there. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, we'll catch you later guys. Thanks for viewing.